Greetings my esteemed Laddingtons. I'm checking in from Paradise aka Sweden in July. I'm checking in with a clarification regarding the terms Alpha and Beta. Now regarding the term Alpha, I have never once referred to myself as an Alpha. I have however referred to others as Alpha and I have used the term to as a compliment basically I've said this is an alpha character and um, I've basically meant cool or manly or whatever so I've said that many of the characters in uh, the fellowship of the ring they are alpha so I said Sam is an alpha, Aragorn is an alpha, Legolas is an alpha uh, but technically speaking the alpha in the fellowship is of course Gandalf and the other High Thumos men they are submitting to his superior knowledge and he takes on the role of being a leader um, so that is the the term alpha now beta is a term I have used as a way to denote if someone has been bad or unmanly or something like that and of course this is not what it means at all beta is actually something you should aspire to you should aspire to find a good leader and uh, serve him so Boromir, Aragorn, Legolas, Gimli, Sam, all of these guys they are technically speaking they are betas because Gandalf is the alpha so uh, yeah I have misused the term I've misused the term so a second in command is beta in a particular situation then of course if we're talking about the fellowship of the ring to take that example uh, Boromir of course is the alpha when he is the commander of the armies of Gondor and Aragorn later becomes an alpha um, when he becomes king. So alpha and beta they aren't really good uh, terms to use because they are so fluid in, uh, in their use. You have some guys who are good at being leaders in a certain situation because they know best then and there but in a different situation they are not the best and uh, of course when we're talking about leadership leadership is not something that is necessarily something you should strive for but it's rather a responsibility you take on and you take on a lot of yeah the responsibility basically is what leadership is and uh, the one who knows the way best is supposed to be the leader the one who knows how to steer the ship the one who knows the course the best course of action he should reluctantly embrace the position of a leader or a, an alpha so basically I will not use these terms anymore I haven't used them in years for this reason as well but I'm just making this video to clarify if you watch an older video of mine and I say you know this beat us um, I don't mean it in the correct sense of the word I don't mean it as it actually as it is actually supposed to be used so a beta is actually something you do want and speaking of culture since I've referred to Lord of the Rings I can also refer to Warhammer 40k the Horus Heresy and I do believe that it is an appealing aesthetic because you have the a literal god emperor that uh, others can serve so High Thumos men who are very capable in their own right they are serving the god emperor and I do believe that is a, a good and worthy goal for any man to find a good a good leader to to serve and uh, if we're talking about hierarchy and everything like that it is a sign of a mature man to be able to recognize the greatness of another man and to follow him and this is why legendary individuals such as Alexander the Great or Napoleon they are always very attractive in that sense as leaders of men because they can bring you to glory as it were so absolutely nothing wrong with being a beta uh, absolutely nothing wrong with being a follower being a follower is something good if you follow someone worth following which in Alexander's case yeah he was very worth following because the um, uh, his followers they were brought to um, glory by him so that is something to note that yeah being a beta then or being a follower is something good it's something you should strive for if you aren't worthy if a good leader sees you as being unfit to be a follower of his yeah then you can 
work on yourself so um, and then of course you have this rather juvenile libertarian mindset that oh you know I'm my own man and I don't follow anyone uh, perhaps because you aren't worthy of being a companion perhaps you aren't worthy of serving a great man now of course I'm talking in very broad terms here I'm talking about um, historically speaking today hierarchies they can be quite hard to find to begin with so this leads us into the term sigma male which I suppose is mostly a meme but uh, it denotes someone who will who want to stand outside of um, the hierarchy and do his own thing and I suppose most guys today they are sigma males not because they want to but but because the um, the hierarchies are um, dissolved and everyone is sort of an individual in themselves which isn't good uh, it's not good. It's good to be part of a larger community. So anyway, main point of this video, if you watch an older video of mine and I say, oh, this beat us, um, know that now at least I um, I know the proper use of the term and uh, being a beta is absolutely not something that is bad. It's something that I view at least as something good. Uh, being an alpha then is, um, I haven't used this term in a long while, and I will not use it moving forward either. Uh, you can say leader, and a leader is someone who can be a leader in one situation uh, and a follower in a different situation. And as I said in a podcast episode, in certain situations it can be good to reluctantly accept the responsibility of leadership, but otherwise you should always try to find out who, which man is the most suited to leadership. Uh, and uh, then try to be a good follower of um, his. Then of course we can talk about monarchy and everything like that but uh, that is a topic for another video. So anyway thank you for watching. If you haven't already read Dauntless do so. First link in the description box below and I wish you a, a fantastic summer ahead. XXO. Boom!